Previously on Tales of Kinzara Zhao, Zuberi read a book by his late father, which is portrayed as the actual platforming part of the game. The book protagonist Zhao seeks to revive his father by completing a quest from the God of Death. Unfortunately, his impulsiveness caused him to fall into a very spiky and dangerous cave, but at least he got a cool rock out of it. Okay, made it through that ledge. Uh... Okay, I guess that's a shortcut for later. Oh! Oh shit, spikes, dude! Damn. Can't tell if I killed you. I think I did. Okay. Damn. They're, that's so mean. Having them uh, hang around the spikes like that. Oh my goodness. What am I looking at? Where's the platform? Oh, did it. Okay. Please save me. Please save. Ow. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on. Fuck off. That was close. Strange contraption. Whoa. This requires an energy that you do not yet possess. Yeah, I see that button I need to hit. Oh man, those things are these rocks uh, falling rocks are everywhere. Oh, finally. I'm already almost dead, not good. Baba went fishing. You would say if you did not feed them some of your catch, <laughs> it meant trouble. Boat breakers. Boat breakers. Boat breakers. There we go. Wonders past the Kakaramba. Two paths for me. What's the non-objective one? It's probably blocked off somehow. Yeah, I need to somehow hit that bridge. Not happening from here. Semazao, I know you love your Baba very much. I do. But tell me of your mama. Who was she? We should stay focused. Keep looking for the Ikakarambangal. Hmm. 
What's that purple goo? Okay, an echo. This was his duty, his purpose, to heal those wandering souls so malformed by their own devastation. Not quite enough. Huh. Uh, what the heck is that? What kind of platforming is that? What the heck? Okay, a permanent shortcut and I may want to heal first before trying anything. Uh, there she is. So, look. There she is. Hey! Pujambo! <laughs> but little legs, you run fast, eh? <laughs> Listen, I wish to apologize. I should... Hey! No, wait! Uh, wait! Uh, oh, no. Why is she running? Why did you say she had little legs? What the... Oh, man. This part goes on for a while, huh? Okay, I managed to steal some points from you. You should be focusing on the Great Spirit. Remember, Zhao, a clever Fennec can catch two hairs. What? The girl is bringing us closer to Ikakaramba. Right. Do you come up with these sayings yourself? The heck is up there? Alright, a full point. Too bad everything in my skill tree currently costs two points. More spikes. That worked. Huh. Oh shit, that rock almost got me. How is the girl getting past all these spikes? I just want to say I am sorry. No, no, wait! Uh, as annoying as a tokoloshi. So. How is she even getting past the spikes? Seriously. Why is everyone else in the spikes except me? Maybe she flew. Ah, Gwenda. Seriously, that's what I'm... He said the same thing I'm linking. What the heck is that? So push... What does pushing it do? Do I use this to block the... Rocks or something? Uh... Run, run! So, you're sweating. You are more than welcome to take over. Let's push us off. <laughs> I, I guess. 
I'm not sure what this is supposed to accomplish. Are you giving me a platform, I guess? Yeah. Oh, shit. Why are these guys spawning? The winged creatures locked in the sky, suspended in the air, their piercing gaze fixed upon the prize. Okay, thanks. That's barely any points, though. Hell no. Okay. Please create a platform I can use. Do not screw me over physics. Okay. Now I need to get my, make my way back down. Whoa. Whoa. Why is everything... Oh! Why is everything dead? Yep. At least I kept the box there. I didn't even get the full dialogue because I died pathetically. Okay, I found a YouTube video where someone else managed to get the dialogue because they, unlike me, they did not die to this spike trap. Why is everything so dangerous? The girl appears non threatening. So is a leopard from far away. What? I was trying to do one of your sayings. I do not understand. Fine, fine. Seems like an optional challenge area. Did it! Retaliating spirit? Okay. Hmm. When damage by an enemy, I receive spirit, huh? Man. Oh, impressed? Hmm. A little. Not counting all the times I died. Okay. If only I could get more slots, though. Let's just go retaliating spirit. I suck at dodging things, so I might as well, right? That, okay, this is obviously a gauntlet. Oh shit, come on! Okay, I managed to make it through. I wish this game would just have manual saving at set points. Oh well, safe healing point anyways. Close. Stop now! This is not funny! I... Ah, God! Hmm. She's fast. Is she even a human? We're pursuing upwards. Okay. 
Okay. Didn't fill me up all the way, though. Okay. There's two paths I can go, huh? We want to wait for platform to regenerate before trying that path. Okay. Something important down here. What? Oh, come on. I, there's no way I can control my jumping to that extent, dude. Where can I? Oh, shit. There better be something good up here. A great baobab tree of Kenzera. Shamans would often rest in the hollow, meditating, considering life, death, and all between. You are a shaman now, Zhao. Perhaps such an act would yield a benefit to take a moment of respite, of reflection. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. What does this do exactly? Is this just a healing point? smiling. My father would take me to the same Baobab trees to meditate. And I would hate it. Every time he would go, he insisted it was good. When you are older, you will remember this, you know. Or when I am gone, you will remember how annoying you are at these moments. And you will feel sorry for me. And you will laugh. <laughs> he was right. Press A to stop reflecting. What happens if I stop reflecting? Do, is there a point to reflecting longer? Health increased. Oh, I see. Increases my max health a little bit. Okay. It's actually marked here. These reflection trees. Ugh. Oh. Please stop running. Is that a town area? Like an actual town? Workbench? What's the point of having a workbench? There wasn't even a new trinket nearby. I already got the retaliating spirit. A clever fennec can catch two hairs. The lift to Ikakaramba. Do you sense that? Yes. The lift is incensed with spiritual energy. Also, a fling must have been trapped. Hmm. <clears throat> Make your preparations, shaman. This will not be easy. You're saying I have to fight the moment I go inside? The heck? Be ready, Zhao. What? Do I have to go for a gun? Yeah, this run will not be clean at all. So, dude, it's a way that the game just saves between waves. That's both a blessing and a curse. Yeah, you can... Uh, be too, if you save between waves, that means I cannot retry... Uh, uh, I cannot simply retry from the very start before... Uh, from the very first wave. Which means I'm gonna have very sloppy attempts, but they will all be successful attempts uh, uh, since I cut out all the losses. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, it's hard to fight under pressure and ha while having to fight so many waves in a row. It also means if I start each uh, the, a wave with very low resources, I'm kind of boned, aren't I? Yeah, I, I don't know how the game is handling such situations. 
Will I be allowed to just start from the first wave or will I be completely screwed? Will I be forced to try to kill enough enemies to get enough energy to heal? Is that how it would work if I uh, were to start a wave with ver like one hit point? Ah, damn, I need to switch to blue. Uh. Yes, punching in the corner. Uh. And there's still more blues that I need to worry about. Uh. Do not like being double teamed by ranged units. I'm still trying to muscle memory my way into using right button for dodging. Okay, this part's gonna be tougher because there are also s spikes. The only good news is that the enemy can also be affected by spikes to some extent. There we go. Ah. Now we got flying dudes as well, but for some reason this guy starts grounded. That's actually fortuitous for me, except he went in the air anyways. Ah. Okay, he went to the spikes, so that dealt a little extra damage. Fortunate for me. Punch you in the wall, and, and there's a bunch of guys spawning. Ah. Yeah, having them have all have barriers is very difficult to deal with. It makes it so even enemies I've been able to beat before become utter juggernauts. Since they are immune to stagger. Uh, screw having clean run, I just want to win. Oh no, they win the air. Even with 12 ammo, I run up pretty quickly. Kalunga. Hmm. These grey spirits. Why did they deny you? They all have their reasons. So they said no to you and you just left them. Denial is a path that winds without end. Yet the path to its destination, it cannot bend. I do not understand. In time, you will. Oh, I died so many times there, but I'm gonna cut some of it out. But man, the fact that I can't try to redo it for a better attempt, yeah, that really fucks with my uh, uh, my usual LP methods, I guess. Usually, I will try to redo some sections even if I succeed in order to get do a better job, but here, since it's an auto-saving game, I can't really do that. The first win is the only one that counts. That's how it is with these auto-saving games, I guess. Yes, it's very... Uh, Antithetical to the way I do LPs, but I guess I'll have to get used to it. Yeah, it's pretty much what I did in Final Fantasy VII. I, I do, I've died to the boss a million times until I figure out a way to do it decently. Uh. Kakaramba. Oh hell, is that a mini boss? No. No, 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 no. How do I beat that? What's the trick? Good enough.
Are you okay? Me? Never better. But the way you took that Rojo out was amazing! So brave, that spirit went rah! And you went back, bing, boom, with the masks and dancing and jumping! <laughs> well, you are safe now. So no need to be scared of it anymore. Or me. You? Who is scared of you? Oh, because I ran. <laughs> I thought we were playing a game. A game? We leapt over pits of spikes, sweated over stone blocks, encountered boat breakers for a game? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, I am Zhao, shaman of Amanla, and I wish to apologize to you for running recklessly over the bridge. I was careless. Oh, thank you. Mm, thinking of it, that was a bit scary. My name is Liana. Liana? I seek the great spirit of the sky. You mean in Pundalu? Yes. Do you know her? Yes. We would always play and laugh together. But then things started changing. A storm grew and grew. And in Pundalu was not the same anymore. No laughing. No playing. Mm, so the great spirits are not necessarily evil? Huh. It seems like they can get along with the living just fine if they wanted to. She went to the skies. The storms never stopped. Then everyone was gone. I stayed for Impundalu to make sure she was okay. But when I call her, she does not answer. That was who you were calling to on the bridge. Yes. I call and call and call, and never an answer. She only stays within the skies. If we can just play again, me and her, then it will be okay. Liana, we need to stop these storms. For us to do so, we must get closer to the skies. Do you know how we can do that? Closer? I, I do, but the storms are... Now that is scary. The only way to reach the skies is through the waterworks, the highest point of Ikakaramba. But it has been locked since the village was abandoned. And the keys are deep within the mines, so I do not know. Eliana, hey, I know you are brave. I can see it. How about we go together? First to the mines. Really? You will really? I will do my best. Yes! Thank you! Uh, maybe then Impundalu can play with me again. Thank you! I will see you by the entrance to the mines. Yes! That was a strange misunderstanding. Remember, Zhao. Impundalu must be passed to the realm of the dead. Then you should have taken her when you had the chance. Excuse me? Never mind. Is there something on your mind, Zhao? Leona is waiting for us. Aha. Okay, finally, a second point. A health item, okay. What? Another echo? Delicate yet determined, she seemed. Like the wading rivers that bestow the green and the bounty to us all. Campfire lit. Well, here we are. I 
present to you the great mines of Ikakaramba, where the water runs ever free. Oh, uh, well, it used to. Then let us make it run free again. <laughs> where are the keys, Liana? There are two. I was playing with my friend Tabia, and we hid the keys all the way down at the bottom of the mine. <laughs> Why did you do that? Tabia thought it would be funny. Mzejabari, the mine keeper, was always playing jokes. So we wanted to get him back. <laughs> what did he think? I'm sure he found it funny. The storm had hit the village, so... Sorry, Liana. There is a lift further into the mine. Take that, and it will bring you down to where the keys are. Wait here, then. I will not be long. Hmm. Uh, why are you back here so soon? You want me to fight for you? What do you expect someone like me to do all the way down there? Frown at them? You have masks! The bang! Bing! Boom! You will do fine all by yourself. I will wait here. I wait. You go. Bye-bye. The shaman yearns for the mines. Kalunga. <clears throat> Alia, when I said you should have taken him Bundulu when you had the chance, so much has happened, and I wonder whether things could have been prevented. Rare is it to change what has happened, but we can always choose how we move forward from it. The actions we are taking now will restore balance. That is what we must do, and we do so together. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. There's a workshop here, but I don't even think I can get to the trinket in this dungeon yet. Spikes? It's my platform. What? I can jump across platforms as well. Damn. Okay. Oh, nuts, dude. Oh, I have to wait for it to melt and then... Oh. Is there a campfire down this area? RT to interact. Wait. Looks like I can't get into that section there. Guess both of these paths will contain the dead ends I need to get the keys. Not good.
Oh, ice. Turns out freezing one waterfall does not automatically freeze the other even if they connect to the same body of water. Make it make sense. Oh, got it. Oh, did it. There, that gets me. When these stones- these stones are never marked on the map, it's so weird. I don't know why. Ha, huh, let's see how you like spikes. This is Sparta! There we go. Please do not be timed or anything. There. The fast key. One more to go. But I have to head all the way back, Tom. There we go. Just one key remaining. It must be on the other side of the mine. Liana really thinks that playing with Mpundulu is going to solve this. Denial can cloud one's perception. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, I better activate this switch here. Yeah, so I'll give me a shortcut. Yeah, so I'll make things easier for climbing back up and maybe solving this part here eventually. I don't even know how to get that one, seriously. Oh, I see. 
Oh, that was close. Miss anything? I don't think so. Oh, that is evil. Oh, fuck, it's you! Okay, there we go. Killed. Return to the top. Oh, man. What? How did it hit me from here? It self destructs too. The hell? Wait, how am I supposed to get up this one? Oh my goodness, I just realized. Oh. Did it this time. There. Liana will be all right. She will understand what needs to be done. Impundalu must be at peace. Liana does not understand this. How can she? She is a child. Do you say this to convince her or yourself? The moral quandary. If we exercise this great spirit, we also take away her friend. No, I see it. There's actually a path right here. Okay, first freeze this. Do this, this. Hey, yeah. All right, I unlocked a secret area. Oh shit, there's a rock right next to this. That's evil. There's a falling rock trap, dude. I have both the keys, Liana. Go and open up the water cell! 
I see. By creating water, I can cr turn into a waterfall that can help me reach our places. Is that what's going on? There we go. Okay, I actually forgot to unlock this bridge here. That was... That was unfortunate. But now I can actually get across if I jump real good. Yes. It wasn't totally necessary, but might as well just be furrow. You, uh, shortcuts are not actually marked on the map for some reason. I feel like they should. Yeah, now I can just go back here. There's still a lot of things I can't really explore very well yet. Okay, let's travel a bit further. Oh, huh. there we go. Extend the ice. I think it's supposed to extend. I'm not sure actually There we go It looks like there is no return now a sealed gate Similar in purpose, but different from the others shamanistic by design There must be a means of opening it nearby A button? Sent the eye of the storm. Oh! Liana, wait here for a bit. I will work out what to do. How do you even get here? Do not worry about me. Just go and solve this thing so we can get out of here. I am wasting our ways out. Wasting our ways. Oh. Of course. Ugh. Another lever? What? Huh? A new ability? Finally. I have to backtrack to a lot of old places to use it. Akita's Spear. Activate targets or attack enemies. A projectile exclusively for Sun Mask, huh? Hadithia Akida. Fascinating. Akida was no shaman. Her greatest feat was that of a loving sister. Armed with a spear imbued with the very essence of a star, her younger brother, who was a shaman, was struggling to defeat the dreaded swamp serpent, the Ninkinanka. She could not witness the demise of her brother. And so Akida seized the spear and launched it at the serpent. But the spear's power was only for the trained and proficient. Her actions saved her brother, but at a grave cost to herself. Alas, all know of Akida's spear. A reminder of the sacrifice elders must make for the young. Come, let us put it to good use. Harness the energy, Zhao. Launch Akita Spear. Is it a temporary thing? No, it's permanent. I see. Okay. 
Okay. What lies beyond? It's a little slower to fire off, though. Wait, do I have to fire them all the at the same time? You have become solemn since the great lift to Ikakaramba. It is a lot. The village, the storms, Liana. I know what needs to be done. It must be done for Baba, but it does not make it easy. Your duties as a shaman will never be easy. That is your path, your sacrifice. Okay, take care of that. There we go. Uh, I think there's one up. Activate one target to unlock the gate. Whoa, it creates a hole. That's strange. The hole's not even marked on the map. It's so weird. The body, the mind, the spirit. All three walked as one on the long and winding path of the shaman. All right, give me a bit more. Dude. Ah! Okay, now I need to take care of you. I wish you would increase our line of sight, damn it. I don't know if I killed that other guy. I think I did. Okay, cool. Okay, finally. I in this situation you really need to make it easier for us to zoom out the camera. Having it too zoomed in is not helpful in this situation. What does that do? Okay, open up that path. Like a legend? Yes! Not quite a legend. Like a legend! <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a moment. Let this somewhat legend figure out what to do next. Oh, there needs to okay, good. Well, now we can see where it's going. It's gonna land there, hopefully. Please do not fail me, physics. Please land perfectly. Good enough. Okay. Nice job, Zhao! I'll be right up there before you can say Samaki wa kupaka! Okay. Now we've made it past another point. We must be getting close to the top. The air is thinning, cooling. Okay, another puzzle. It's down here, what? Huh. 
Hopefully there's not another one. I hear something bad. Okay. Enemies fucked up my mojo. Okay. There we go. Now I can see more clearly. Oh, oh hell. See what I need to worry about here. Okay, now I just need to not die. There was something there. There. This guy's gonna jump pretty far. Okay, let's do our gun. Oh hell, spikes everywhere. What part of floor is spikes versus non-spikes anyways? These puzzles are so obnoxious. Gotcha! <laughs> be honest, I briefly considered letting the enemy kill me just so I could restart this battle with a cleaner attempt, but eh, it's probably not worth it at this point. I really need to get used to just trying to win on my first attempt no matter what. Yeah, I, re I really need to get into that mindset. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get really burned out on action games. Okay, gotcha. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Oh. 
lost a lot of health, but I can if I can heal, like, I'm good. Oh man, it's just so uh, that made me panic so hard and made me just choke horribly. Land torn from earth to sky, it is unnatural. Zhao, we are not far from Mpundulu's domain. Okay, RT to reflect. Mm. The night before Baba passed, it was a quiet night. Quiet as always, but more than usual. For some reason, he felt good that night. I was sitting there, lost in thought, when suddenly I hear the clank of a mancala board. <laughs> I think Baba could read my mind. Or maybe he knew it was his final. But there we were. We stayed up playing mancala. Thank <laughs> God, Baba was good at it. He always won. He told me stories about me as a boy, about him when he was my age, about anything. We laughed together. We laughed so much. Some shamans say laughter is the best medicine. The next day was not easy. And it is only now I see what we gave each other the night before. And what is that? Normality. Okay. Health increased permanently. It's always this very small sliver, but it adds up, hopefully. Oh, I see. I, I missed a path. Haha, behind this waterfall is another echo. Rain came to the hills, flowers to the cliffs, a land given life, and a name, Ikakaramba. What? I feel like there should be a campfire here. The hell? Pundulu. An egg. She is a mother. Is that? No. Liana. But that would mean. Therein lies the true nature of her love. Her actions. Wait, so Liana might have been a bird person all along? The heck? Seriously. I don't want to go yet. I don't want to fight yet. Pundulu holds on to her responsibilities as the mother. Her tragedy is holding on. Not letting go is the cause of all this pain. This is your task, Zhao. You must help Impundulu and Liana accept the natural cycle of life. To embrace change. to hate me. This is not your fault. But you must understand that Impundulu holds on because she fears you taking on the responsibilities of disguise. The only way I can help her and you is to do my duty as a shaman. To allow her to pass on. Let us just go and play some more, eh? Maybe if we keep playing, Impundulu will see how much fun we are having and will join in. 
I'm sorry, Liana. I cannot do that. It... No! No! It... It is not fair! I... I... I do not like this! Liana! She will understand in time. <sighs> Let us get this over with. Final ascent to Impundulu. Are you prepared? Nope. It must be done. Unfortunately, due to the nature of the autosave system, I cannot back out of this fight, and I also cannot redo the fight to get a cleaner run, so what you see is what you get. No use telling me how to do the boss properly, because I will never be able to fight this boss again unless I start an entirely new game. And I'm not doing that unless I start a Patreon where people have to pay me a million bucks to get me to redo game boss battles more than I feel like doing. Yeah, so the beak has very little time for you to dodge out of it. At first, it's pretty simple because the boss doesn't do too many of his patterns in a row at first, but later on, they, uh, 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 she will spam her attacks way more as her hit points get lower. And as well as to power some of them up in various ways, like giving them extra projectiles, making them last longer. So it's a trick you because once you think you're, you feel like you're safe, you're not actually safe. They'll still continue attacking and punish you for it. Yes. Okay, they are invincible during this part. Lightning of the gods, ugh. Indignation. Okay. Now I have to wait for you to do a beak attack. Yup, doing it twice in a row. Look at how quickly she removed it. You get less time to exploit it now. Yes. The claw attack. There is now a, a follow-up after the last slam, I think. Or is that in the later one? Uh, part of the phase. Yep, there's a follow-up. A swing. Yeah, so the attack patterns get more complicated as the hit point goes down. Also, there's this part. These projectiles look easy to dodge at first, but in the later phase, ugh. They're going to be way more difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's easy to deal with the attacks in the first few phases, but later on, it just... It, 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 I guess I just got worn down really mentally. Yeah, it, the Fire Spear is supposed to be able to counter the beam attack if it's done from the side guard and from the background. Yes, of course you have to switch between your mass in order to pro uh, 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 efficiently punish the boss after their attacks. Yes. See, now there's a sonic boom. Oh no. Okay, one thing to do against a beam is to use your bullets to extend your stay in the air. Yes, increase your air time that way. That's one way to deal with it. Problem is, the boss is just, just going to spam the beam way more, so you have to pull it off consecutively. Yes. Each individual attack is easy to deal with, but together they can become very exhausting mentally. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did not react in time with the Fire Spear, so now I'm going to eat shit from the lasers. Ugh. It's too late for a Fire Spear, unfortunately. Ow.
I'm not sure what- I should probably should use the blue one to punish, ugh, the moon mask. Oh no. This time I managed to punish you. Yes, now is a good time to use a big attack. Unfortunately, this also means less energy for healing. What was that noise? I, I think it was because I hit the boss into their uh, uh, into a hit point threshold and they gained temporary invincibility. Look at the shield around the boss's mask on their hit point bar. I think that indicates that they cannot take any damage. Yes. It's to prevent you from trying to phase skip. Kind of like what they do in Final Fantasy VII, actually. I feel like the explosion on the Project House is getting bigger. I'm not sure. I might actually get hit by it. Yeah, I'm just kind of paranoid the explosion might be bigger, but maybe not. Okay. Ow. Dang it. The thing with the timing for that is that it also distracts you from literally everything else that's going on in the game. Uh, trying to time the reload. I wish I could get bullet time when shooting this in the air, because it can be hard to efficiently aim while I'm also trying to dodge things. Yeah, let's extend my air time. That's the way to do it. Ah. Punish, 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 punish. Uh. Unfortunately, I really choke here with the lasers. Ow. And you can get, if you move wrong, you can get hit by a laser multiple times. Ah, it's clipped me still. Ow. I end up wasting all my energy instead of doing a cool spirit attack. I'm now on my last legs. Damn it, they didn't barely let me exploit that. And back to the beams that I'm. S uh, no. No. Yeah, beams are the toughest for me to deal with, I feel like. Everything else you can kind of muscle memory your way into at the, s uh, at the s start of the battle, but the beams, uh, not as, they're not as muscle memoryable. If that's even a word. Ah. Uh. Openings are harder to exploit. Ah. Uh. Dude! I only got literally one hit in and I just... Oh my goodness. They're spe be beam spamming me. Dude. Ah. Uh. Yes! Absolutely no reason for me to redo this, boss. I, I can't do it. It's lost forever because of the way the save system works. Every parent knows that one day they must step aside for their child. It can be hard to grasp. Becoming a parent can feel like the death of the self. But there is a liberation 
an acceptance, a feeling of rebirth. Soon, Liana will prosper. She will give love to this world. But first, she must find herself. Find her peace. We go west, to the woodlands now, yes? Hmm. The great spirit of nature resides there. Right. Let us go then. To the woodlands. The rain has arrived. I can feel the pressure of these guys easing. Yes. The great rain brings many blessings for humans and gods alike. Yeah, now we're allowed to use fast travel. I think they were trying to lock me into this area before for some arbitrary reason. I don't know why. It's not like anything I do out here could possibly contradict it, right? Or maybe the boss was not balanced for me to find all the stuff that was locked by the spear. Yes. It's really a shame about the save system, but maybe I should consider a blessing in disguise. Maybe this will teach me to get over my habit of always trying to reload for better attempts. Yes. I wonder what will happen to Leon after that. Will she try to take revenge on Zhao, or will she learn to accept her mother's passing? Hmm. Oh, they actually update your entries, huh? Yes. In truth, Liana is the daughter of Impundulu. Now, with Zhao's help in giving Impundulu peace, Liana can begin the process of becoming the Spirit of the Sky. Okay, and his also got updated. Zhao brought, brought peace to Impundulu, the Great Spirit of the Sky. In doing so, he witnessed the path of denying uh, the pain of denying the path. Three spirits who cheated death. Impundu has an entry as well. Spirit of Sky, real of anxiety on account of her daughter, Liana. Impundu did not want Liana, a carefree child, to, to take her place, to become a spirit of the sky with all the responsibilities that come with it. This refusal to pass the mantle made the Impundu antagonistic and violent. Next to the efforts of the Shaman Zhao, Impundu was finally given peace, to accept the death of the self and allow her daughter to flourish. I feel, I feel like this is supposed to relate to Zhao and his own father. I wonder if every uh, every great spirit that we have to defeat is going to uh, have s similar motivations. Or uh, It's not like they all cheated death for well-intentioned reasons, right? Who knows? So it seems that bosses get their own section at the end. That means there's like at least three other regular enemy types I have to worry about. Hmm, so what about Zuberi? Isn't he going to give his own comments on this? At least after each act would be nice, I think. Yes, have him give his own little book report about what he's learned so far. Two more people probably related to the other two bosses. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Kenzera Zhao. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.